Virgo. Thank you so much for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot. And thank you for all the support on the channel. I appreciate it so much. So please remember there's no way this can connect with every single viewer out there. I read the cards and you decide if and how they apply to you or, their, or your situation. There's no way this can be a personal reading because it's for the general population. So take what you can use and leave the rest. Also, it's okay for you to switch the masculine feminine energy on the card. So the king and queen, you can switch because it's energy. And so also... Welcome cross watchers. Cross watchers are people who watch our loved ones videos. So the oracle cards go here which are all for you. The tarot deck goes over here which are the energies around you but you'll probably show up over here as well. So let's start. I'm using the earth wisdom oracle deck today for your reading. So the first one is 10 responsibility. So I do feel like you have a path to choose here pretty quickly if not right now. You're going to have a decision to make. And you're going to spend some time trying to think of the best decision for you. And I feel like it must concern other people as well because you feel responsible like you have to make the correct decision. And you have three different choices Choices I feel like you could get to this place or whatever you're trying to get to. There's not one specific way to make it there. I do feel like you recently came out of the forest, so to speak, where you had a difficult time, and I do see a lot of repetition, like you may have went in circles lately about something, something that really affected you and you tried to control, but after it just went in circles, you, you're you deciding to do something else. So the next one is practical intuition number 30. So this talks about being aware of everything that is known to you, maybe things that people tried to keep from you. Intuition is paying attention to the signs being given to you by the universe. Like you could be privy to information you weren't meant to be privy to and you find out about something. That would be a sign from the universe. I also see new beginnings in there, possibly a, a new baby. But I do feel like the circular pattern too, where there was something that was you did over and over many times, and now you want a new start. You want to go a new direction. And the next one is Blessed Sight 28. So this talks about seeing something. 28 would be 10, which you have 10 here. So 10, 30, and then this could be 10 if you add the 28 numbers. So I do feel like you are moving towards something new. You're taking a fresh start. Ten is an ending usually. So when one door closes, another door opens. So I do feel like there's a lot of emotion involved in here. I feel like you're leaving a situation. Um, something that has to do with a family structure. I feel you're leaving behind you and going towards a new home, a new family structure, something of that sort. But with the pink in there, I do feel like that is you focusing on your own energy. I see transformation in there, a big change. And I also see the way her um, sleeves are tattered and torn here. I do feel like you've, you're kind of moving out of something that you dealt with for a long time. Something that was repetitive, and I'm talking a lot of years, you let something happen over and over. And I feel like um, it looks like... A, sheep or a, around her neck so I do feel like that is new beginning that was meant for you something specific for you that you're finally realizing there's something out there that's just meant for you and you're going to go after it which is beautiful so big transformation so let's switch to the Chakra Wisdom deck. So Queen of Coins. So it could have to do with money. You could be bringing coins into you to make yourself stable. You could have been manifesting. I feel like you're healing from not having so much income. And something is changing to where your income is going to increase. So Judgment. Wow. So the universe called Judgment, or you did on three people around you. You and the universe could have done it. I feel like there's three people in your life who were trying to hold you back, trying to manipulate you in a way, and the universe kind of guided you or helped you to figure out these people weren't for your highest good, that they were trying to hold you back is what I'm feeling. So Four of Swords tells me that somebody regrets how they treated you. Somebody spends a lot of time trying to heal themselves from how they 
did something to you. Six of Swords, you moved yourself away from some situation that wasn't good for you. You got clarity on something and you moved away. You finished it and said, I am not going to put up with this. I am done. And that's what you did. So the Hanged Woman talks about somebody I feel is confused. They don't know what to do. Because you moved your energy away, I feel, you confuse them and they don't know what to do. They're like, oh, what am I going to do now? You confuse somebody. Six of Wands is you having victory and success over negative energies. People who gossip, lie, try to mislead you, this is you having success over that. Look at that. You're like, no, nope, not happening. And it's clarifying the judgment card, which is the universe looking out for you. So justice, wow. So this is Libra. So something is balancing out in your favor in your life. Somebody, I feel like it's this person who regrets the way they treated you and possibly these other three people. The universe is righting the wrongs in your favor. Look at all the purple here, all this healing. The universe is healing the situation. So three of wands is you have three opportunities around you. You have three choices, which I did see up here, where you can go a new direction. None of these paths are going to be wrong. I feel like you could be moving towards the ocean. You could be moving towards um, the beach. I know that's the same as ocean, but the yellow signifies abundance. It signifies happiness. So you're moving towards your happiness something in life. I don't mean literally moving, but you're going to be happier. Something in your life is transforming to make you more happy. So seven of coins is you trying to figure out your best move, your best choice. You're trying to figure out where something fits in your life or a person possibly. So knight of wands is the player energy. This is somebody who's in and out. They're coming in very emotional. They know how to charm. They know how to say all the right things and then they leave. They don't stay which they are clarifying the justice card. So I feel like this person, this player energy, is going to get some sort of justice where something's going to balance out in your favor and not for them. So then you have four of coins. So four of coins tells me if this player energy comes back towards you, you are going to block that. You are keeping your love and your coins close to you. You're not being as open as you were before every time this player energy came back and forth. You're more closed off. You Something happened that you're like, nope, not happening. So then you have five of fire. So five of fire is people bickering, arguing, conflict. This is people around you causing conflict, confusion. So death, you're ending that situation. You're done with the conflict. You're done with the people bickering, manipulating you. When one door closes, another door opens. You're leaving that energy behind. So Ace of Sky is a warning that when you get that funny feeling in your stomach that something's not right or somebody's misleading you, or you get that voice in your head that says, don't go to so-and-so's house today, this is a warning to listen to it. This is my warning card that you have intuition and if you you're not going to get hurt you're just going to it's going to be difficult if you don't listen to that warning so you're going to be met with difficult people and you'll be like why didn't I listen to myself I knew this shouldn't have worked so ace of c so this is true love so it depends on what the next card is to see if the warning is for true love nope it's not so the true love is saying somebody who's generous is going to come to you somebody who is really caring really nurturing to your energy really positive they're going to take care of you so seven of fire says people are going to be angry about this somebody's going to come at you it looks like three people and want to you to defend yourself they're going to try and get you riled up get you and it's clarifying the death card which tells me you are done with these people. So maybe it's because you're done with them and push them out of your life. They want to come back in and, and cause drama for you. So four of sky is you withdrawing and healing. Sleeping is healing yourself. And when you get clarity and you heal yourself, you're going to be able to go in a new direction. There's a kitty weather vane up there. You're going to be able to go in whatever direction you want to. So the world, this is beautiful, Virgo. So this says that you are changing your world, your life. You see your big picture and you're going towards your happiness and your sunshine. You are, it's changing. Your life is changing, which I got that up here. 
good kitty. The universe feels you have put good karma out to the universe, so they are going to give you good karma back. That's beautiful. It's clarifying the generosity. So whoever's coming into you that is true love, I feel like, is sent by the universe. They feel like you deserve it. Wow, the stars card. So this could be Aquarius or Leo placement. But the star card to me is wish fulfillment, dreams. It's also because you put your energy into you and focused on yourself. You didn't change and go be like these people who are mean and vicious. You took your energy and moved away to go for the greater good. So Sky Kitten is a couple things. This could be going out and having fun. The universe is telling you you need to go have fun. You need to be lighter. You need to be more childlike, playful. Or it could mean annoying. That somebody is annoying you with their immaturity. But I feel like it's more celebration, playtime. So Four of Earth is a couple things. This is selfishness. This is somebody who takes and takes and doesn't give. So when I say a couple things, it could sometimes selfishness means that you have to exhibit selfishness to get to where you're going. It's kind of like a fake it till you make it, like you pretend you're positive and happy and you're actually not, but someday you are going to be positive and happy. And when you incorporate that energy, it just can't help but not come into you. But I don't feel like that is for you. I feel like there's somebody selfish around you. So Fire Kitten tells me there is somebody selfish and this person plays with fire. They take chances, they're very immature, they do things that hurt themselves, and they don't even acknowledge that they do stuff like that. So the Sun, this is beautiful Virgo. This is the happiest card in the deck, the most positive. You are going toward where you're supposed to go. You're going to be happy, you're going to be warm, you're going to see your friends, true friends that are truly like you and enjoy your company, bask in your um, home and be happy and you're going to be like, this is awesome. I made it to my happy place. I have true friends. I have happiness. So Grace is talking about talking good to yourself. Don't berate yourself. Don't be mean to yourself. So I see a lot of emotions that you stayed on your path. And it's been very difficult for you. And you probably cried a lot. But this basically says you're almost to the end of a difficult time. The good times are coming. Stay on your path. Be, and be kind to yourself. Tell yourself you're deserving. So look at this cat magic Virgo. Wow. So this says that you... Uh, have manifested the good things coming to you. You're grounded. You have one paw on your spirituality or your religion and the other paw on the sphere, which is you bringing what you desire to you. Very powerful. So now I'm going to switch to the Oracle of E for you, Virgo. So the first one is knock knock. So 14 equals change. That would be five. So change is coming to you. Happy rainbows is going to take place of what was dark for you before. Smooth and easy, 28, which is 10. So you went from change to something ending super fast. So some ending is going to be easier than you think. You're still in the rainbow light, I feel, there. And something is going to be easier than you anticipate it's going to be. So, psst, hey him, hey you. This is you going towards your happiness and your sun, and the universe is trying to get your attention about something. They're trying to make you aware. Stay on your path. Talk good to yourself because happiness is coming. You're going to your happiness. And you're going to look back and be like, wow, it was hard, but it was actually easier than you anticipated in some way. So the first angel and ancestor card for you, or no, I'm going to do the whispers of the ocean first. Rediscover your zeal. Pay attention to the passion you are feeling for discovery, learning, exploration, spirituality, travel, your work, or your relationships. Passion and desire go together, especially as inspiration. This is the flame angel fish, which is desire. And I feel like this makes me think of people who have nothing to get up and go to work for every day have a hard time getting up and they lose their zeal this talks about when you have something a reason to get up and go to work like you love your job you're getting ready to purchase a new car maybe and you love getting up and driving that car to work every day and you don't hate your job there's something coming into your life that is going to give you that that desire and that passion of living your life, loving your life, and doing what truly makes you happy. So night. 
be brave and honest. So I see already here the caducus or the sword he has is in a religious artifact kind of to me. I see the rose, which is love. I see the chalice over here, which is saying your cup is going to be full. This talks about being brave and being honest on your path. Even though people have tried to throw you off or try to make you doubt yourself or try to make you believe what they believed, you stayed on your path and you stayed to your honest, true self. And you don't see it on this card, but in the book it talks about how he has a tear on his face. He has a tear, I'm going to cry, because of humankind and how they've tried to disparage him, how they have disparaged the world, so to speak, how there's so much negativity and angriness in the world. And he believes that if he stays on his path, he can brighten the world. He can do what is right. He can bring... Oh, I pulled the wrong card. That's so weird I did that. So I'm going to pull the next one. Is 23, Distinctive Potential. Rely on your faith and the knowledge that nothing is impossible. Use your determination to hang in there until you realize a goal. This is the narwhal whale. This is um, their tooth, their left tooth. And in the 1700s when the tooth would wash up on the shore, people would think it was a unicorn horn. But it's actually their tooth. So this talks about something about you is your distinct path. There's something in life you're supposed to follow a certain path. And I feel like it has to do with being brave and honest. That something about you and what you believe in is guiding you to your path. So I did those kind of out of order. I don't know why. I'm going to switch them now so I don't do that again. And the last one for you is arrow. Surround yourself with protective energy. So we are all protected, but this basically talks about protect yourself with your intuition. Know who is for your highest good and who is not. When you get that funny feeling in your sternum or in your stomach, or you get that voice in your head that something's not right, your body tells you when things are not right. So how many times have you met somebody and your body tells you this person is not right and you override that and say, oh, I'm going to be friends with this person. I'm going to get along with this coworker. And then later on, that coworker turns on you and you ask yourself, why didn't I listen to my body? My instinct, the first time I had, I was right. Your first instinct is usually your best choice on deciphering a situation or a person. Is totally what I feel. So that's what it means with protective energy. Arrows were used um, years ago for Native Americans to protect themselves. And that's how they did. So this has to do with like a compass to me too. That you can navigate what any way you want. I feel like it's female energies is what I'm picking up too. That you need to protect yourself from. There's some sort of female energies around you. That are going to try and trick you. Is what I think. That they're that they are your friend and they're really not. So thank you so much Virgo. I hope this helps you. This was your reading for the 15th to the 21st if I didn't say that. On um, the 19th we're actually switching into Pisces zodiac sign. So thank you so much for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot. Bless you.